Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see design of single angle strut, and this is the part two in which we have first see in previous video we have tried one section but it was failed. Now we will try another section and we will check whether this section is sufficient or not. So let's start with the solution. <music> see in the last numerical in the last video what we what we did we tried this section that is isa 75 by 75 by 6 mm and it was unsafe so in exam if your section is unsafe what you should do you should try another section and you should check that the new section is safe or not means you will have to repeat this procedure so safe side what you should do you should take that section which should be safe means you should say take a section which is of higher dimension so that your section will be safe okay but for practice what i did i took this section 75 by 75 by 6 mm so it was unsafe now i am trying another section and this section is 90 by 90 by 8 the properties i have taken it it from the steel table so the area is 1379 mm square and rvv is 17.5 okay so this is the fifth step i am just trying the section but what i did last time my 75 by 75 section was failed so i tried 90 by 90 section whose area is so and so means 1379 mm square and 17.5 is the rvv so the first thing that you should calculate after trying the section is equivalent slenderness ratio and this formula is taken i have told you in the previous video if you have not watched that video please watch that video then come to this video so in previous video i have explained all these terms what is k1 what is k2 how to take lambda vv value how to take k1 k2 and k3 value so i had assumed two number of bolts at each end and end condition was hinged so for that k1 k2 and k3 values were taken from page number 48 so the k1 value was 0 0.70 k2 k2 value was 0 0.60 and k3 value was 5 so only these values are changing now rvv so because of rvv this lambda vv will also change so now i will calculate the value of lam lambda vv so how you can calculate just put the values here see l is what it is 2500 then what is the value of rvv it is 17.5 then divided by as it is now what is the value of epsilon see here is the value of epsilon it is also given in the is code so i am putting the value of 1 under root under root what is uh, next thing pi square so pi square will be as it is what is the value of e that you will take for the steel it is 2 into 10 raised to 5 that is the value of what value of e okay now whole divided by 250 will be as it is so this is the new you will get certain new value of lambda vv so after the calculations it will come 1.607 okay so you can write it here lambda vv will be equal to 1.607 okay you can even check this calculations whether it is coming same or not or for practice also you will be able to calculate this in the exam also so the lambda vv value is 1.607 now now we have calculated lambda vv let's calculate this see how many terms we require k1 k2 k3 are known to you then lambda vv we have calculated just now only lambda phi value is remaining so after finding lambda y um, sorry lambda alpha you can easily calculate the value of lambda e so i'll find out now lambda alpha value so what is the formula in previous video i have told you this also what is the formula of lambda alpha it is i'll write it here see it is what lambda alpha is equal to b1 plus b2 now this b1 and b2 will be see which section we have tried we have tried the section 90 by 90 by 8 so 90 plus 90 will be my b1 plus b2 okay so you can put that so b1 by plus b2 divided by 2t that is that is and whole divided by the same term which which was used 
in lambda vv calculation it is epsilon then we have under root then we have pi square into e is as it is okay and whole divided by this value that is 250 okay so this is the formula for the calculation of lambda phi now i'll calculate them one by one what is b1 b1 is 90 what is the value of bt b2 it is also 90 so i'll put that also whole divided by 2 into t what is the thickness see we have used 90 by 90 by 8 so thickness value will be 8 and whole divided by now whole divided by what epsilon epsilon value is 1 under root will be as it is so i'll put as it is pi square will be as it is into e what is the value of e here 2 into 10 raised to 5 then whole divided by it is it has value of 250 so you can pause the video and you can do the calculations by yourself so the value of lambda alpha will be 0 0.126 you can check this calculations 0 0.126 okay so this is the value of lambda alpha now we have calculated this value also let's calculate the final lambda e value so i'll calculate that that one here okay so my lambda e will be equal to i'll not repeat that formula again i'll directly put the values of k1 k2 and k3 and other lambda v and lambda alpha values so how you can calculate that it is under root of what first one is the k1 so the value of lambda e will be 0 0.70 that is my k1 okay so 0 0.70 i'll keep as it is plus what is the value of k2 it is 0 0.60 you can see the in previous video why i have taken 0 0.60 then value of lambda vv we have calculated that let me show you lambda vv what what is the value of lambda vv it is 1.60 607 so i'll put that value here into 1.607 okay so i'll put that and it has a square here now next value we have k3 so i'll put plus k3 is how what it is 5 into lambda phi no not lambda phi actually lambda alpha so lambda alpha value will be 0 0.126 square okay it is a square here in the formula 0 0.126 square okay so i'll put that so after the calculation the value of lambda e will be 1.526 you can check the calculations also lambda e value will be how much it is 1.526 now we have calculated the value of lambda e also what is remaining now see what i am saying why these values are calculated because i wanted to calculate the value of alpha here and what is the value of alpha it had this term that's why we calculated this lambda e value so what is the value of uh, alpha here so see it is step number how much let me show you or you can just start new step by star so i'll put alpha is equal to what is the value it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 it has in bracket 1 plus alpha in bracket lambda e will be as it is minus 0 0.2 plus lambda e square plus lambda e square so that is the value of what the alpha now comes the important question what is the value of alpha here see i am telling you again and again in previous videos also i have told you that alpha value for this type of numerical that is design of uh, single angle strut the value is alpha alpha value is it is taken from table number 7 and table number 10 you will have to refer two tables table number 7 and table number 10 so you can just open the is 800 2007 and you can check what values are there in table number 10 and table number 7 and if still if you don't get it then watch the previous video i have told you how to take the value of alpha so for buckling class c the value of alpha will be 0 0.49 because we have used angle section so value of alpha will be how much it will be 0 0.49 that you have to remember so this is the formula of alpha phi here now i was talking about this value 
so your alpha value will depend upon what it will depend upon the buckling class and what type of section are you using so what is the value it will be 0 0.49 okay now i'll put all these values and i'll calculate the value of phi here it is 0 0.5 i will put as it is 0 0.5 in a bracket 1 plus what is the value of alpha i have told you i have told you the value it is 0 0.49 in bracket what is the value of lambda e here it is 1.526 okay now minus 0 0.2 it is as it is plus lambda e value lambda e value is what it is again 1.526 okay so i'll put that 5 to 6 and square will be as it is so after the calculations the value of phi here will be 1.989 1.989 okay so i have calculated this value now what is remaining is your design compressive strength c i'll repeat this see what i want i want to find out the design compressive strength it is pd is equal to a into fcd that is area area is the say area is the that area which we have taken from the steel table only fcd value is remaining now so i'll calculate the value of fcd now let's take it as next step so the value of fcd first let me tell you the formula of fcd again it is given in is code okay so you don't need to mug up this so the value of fcd is fy by gamma m0 it is what fy divided by gamma m0 and wholly divided by then phi plus in a bracket again phi square plus lambda e square minus lambda e square bracket close raised to 0.5 okay so this is the value of what your fcd now tell me is there any value that is missing or that we have not calculated yes we have calculated all the values so i can directly put the all these values and i can find out the value of fcd now so what is the value of fy it is 250 divided by gamma m0 we take generally it as 1.10 wholly divided by what is the value of alpha that we have calculated it is see here it is 1.989 so i'll put that value 1.989 okay plus will be as it is again again phi value that is 1.98 1.989 9 it 9 square minus lambda e what is the value of lambda v that we have calculated it is 1.526 so i'll put that 1.526 okay 1.526 it has a square here and it is raised to 0.5 here so i'll put that also so after the calculations the value of fcd will be you can check it on the calci it is 69.61 and the unit will be what it will be newton per mm square okay now we have calculated the fcd value now i can check what is the design compressive strength see fcd is what it is design compressive stress okay this one is nothing but the stress now we have to calculate what is the value of a strength that is my design compressive strength and it should be what it should be greater than 65 kilonewton now why i am saying 65 kilonewton because they have given here see here it is 65 kilonewton so obviously my strength should be greater than that so i'll put directly design strength design strength will be equal to okay so what it is denoted by it is denoted by pd and it is given as area into fcd okay so area what let's check the area see we had tried this section 90 by 90 by 8 whose area is 1379 so i'll put that one 1379 then into as it is that is multiplication into fcd what is the value of fcd fcd we have calculated it is 69.61 69.61 newton per mm square so after the calculations the value of pd will be 95.99 almost 96 you can write but i'll put whatever it is the calculation 95.99 okay so you tell me whether it is greater than the 65 kilonewton yes it is greater than 65 kilonewton so now i can confidently say it 
that my section which I have tried it is safe against the 65 kilonewton. So finally you can write a sentence like this that therefore ISA we have used Indian standard angle section and which section was tried 90 by 90 by what was the thickness it was 8 mm okay so and whose area you can even write the area also with area area was how much let me tell you area was 1379 okay mm square 1379 mm square and you can write like this isa 90 by 90 by 8 with area 1379 mm square is safe it is safe obviously and against what load it is safe against a factored load means you can write like this to carry a factored load and what is the factored load here it is 65 kilonewton so you can write like this factored load of 65 kilonewton that's it so in this way you will have to write down the sentence also so this was the video on design of single angle strut and it was part two because we have tried two sections first section was failed that's why we have tried another section and yes it is safe against the this load that is given load 65 kilonewton of load thank you